thank you for joining us here at Keseton Oval for what we anticipate this afternoon will be a most deserving celebration of two of our very victorious regional cricket teams over the last two months. My name is Stephen Leslie. I'm going to act as your master of ceremonies for this very short event. I'm going to ask everyone who's here to kindly place their devices on silent or vibrate for the short period that we are here. And we will open up this afternoon with a very short word of prayer. So we ask everyone where you sit just to bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for bringing us here this afternoon to celebrate the achievements of two of our regional cricket teams. We ask that this event is taken in the spirit for what is intended and that everyone shares in this very joyous moment as we continue to celebrate Barbados' cricket for now and in the future. In your name I pray, amen. Good afternoon again. Now, one of the realities of where we are located is that it's going to be, as we see, quite windy. But I want you for the moments to really understand and appreciate what we're trying to achieve here this afternoon. Now, earlier this calendar year, there were a number of regional teams that left this island to represent Barbados, both at the junior level and in the females at the junior and senior level. We currently have the Barbados Pride men's team who are participating in the regional CG United Super 50 that's being played in Trinidad. Why are we here today? Two of those teams, namely the Barbados Pride women's senior team and the Barbados under 17 male team, were able to achieve something that is truly remarkable. Both teams achieved the double. The double where they went in St. Kitts and Trinidad respectively, and were able to win both tournaments underneath the auspices of the Cricket West Indies regional competition. Now, before I even invite the first individual to speak, I wanna make a very short comment about the preparation that we were able to witness of not just these two teams that achieved success, but also the other regional teams that were able to play during the course of this calendar year. In Barbados, we have a program, as all of us know, called the Sir Everton Week Center of Excellence. Some persons have a lot of different opinions on the productivity from that program. But there's no one who sits here this afternoon in terms of the players or any of those who represent us at the regional senior level who have not had the opportunity to go through that very important program. The person who I would invite to speak earlier was part of conceptualizing the main focus back, I believe, in 2009. That's in our president, Condé Rayleigh. And we at the BC have continued that program for the last decade and a half. I have seen many cricketers from West Indies Test Captain in Craig Braffitt, or one-day international captain in Shea Hope, or women's captain in Haley Matthews and a host of other players having been exposed to this program. So the preparation from that program and then into the national size that we are celebrating today, we also must give huge credence to the coaches that would have been working with these teams within the center of excellence and also when both teams went off on the regional scene. One other thing that you all need to know there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. We have a secretariat here at the Barbados Cricket Association led by Dr. Roland Topping. And we have our sister or slash brother in Kensington Over Management Inc. who manages the facility here at Kensington. Everything that we do is not something that we do by chance. It is methodical, it is strategic. It is to be giving each lady, each man, the opportunity to realize their true potential. So what we are during the course of this very short celebration are doing is really saying to you, we've been here to put the infrastructure in place. We are celebrating you who've gone on the field of play and the support that I see here with the family and friends of those members who will be um, spoken about today. It is again a testament of what we know. Any strong rock needs to have support and I wanna commend you, the family and the other members and the friends who are here to join this ceremony this afternoon. At this point, 
I am going to be inviting the boss man, the president of the Barbados Cricket Association, a CWA director in Mr. Conde Riley, to offer a few remarks. Mr. President. Good afternoon, all. Thank you for coming. This is very windy, so I'm going to have to hold these few pages I have here. Barbados has a rich tradition of winning regional championships and also producing a host of wonderful players for, international, for the international cricket arena. I believe that all of you know of our national hero, who would be, the, I'd say, the ultimate in our production line, having um, gained the highest accolade that this country offers in becoming our first um, national hero. Today we have assembled at Kensington Oval to celebrate the outstanding performances of the Barbados Pride on the 17 male and the Barbados Pride women's cricket teams. Let me be the first to say that it is with great pride that we celebrate with the Barbados and the 17 male squad who created history when they were crowned champions of both the 50 over and two-day tournaments that were held recently in Trinidad and Tobago. Despite the weather, this squad in the 50 over competition registered two victories, accumulated 16.2 points to emerge as champions. The two-day tournament further tested the cricket smarts of this special group. A draw against the Vinwood Islands in the first match meant that we needed to secure important points in the remaining two matches. We registered an important victory in the second match against the Leeward Islands before securing an important draw in the third and final match against Guyana. During these three two-day matches, um, I believe I should mention two players who did exceptionally well, Revere Cottle and Jaden Webster, who made 111 runs each. With leg spinner, Zishan Mutara taking 14 wickets. And you can look out for these three young men in the future. They're all very talented. Congratulations to head coach Dexter Topping, assistant coach Nemo Win, manager Dwayne Bess, and physiotherapist Queen Dalrymple for providing the, man the management environment that allowed these young players to express themselves so well on the field of play. We salute Captain Zion Brathwaite and each member of this team who, using their natural skill, made those critical decisions for the benefit of the team. Each run scored or wicket taken was always aimed at achieving victories for Barbies. A great job to all of you. What more can be said about the 2023 Barbados Pride Women's Squad? Our three times a lady double crown regional champions have shown why they are in a class above the rest. The first championship was achieved in 2018. They did it in 2019 and now in 2023. We are convinced that the female cricketing cricketers being produced in Barbados are truly an inspiration for the future generation of players. Stars will continue to emerge for the Barbados Pride West Indies and also for the franchise teams across the world. This Barbados Pride women's squad had two captains in Haley Matthews, 50 over, and Shakira Salmon, T20, for the to tournaments which were held in St. Kitts Nevis. The combined efforts to achieve victories were indeed not just for individual glory, 
But from the results, it was evident that the brand of cricket played was superior to any of those of the opposition teams. On the field of play in the 50-over tournament, the Barbados Pride women won all five matches en route to accumulating 20 points. Important con contributions were made by a number of players, including Captain Haley Matthews, who took a hat trick against the Wimbledon Islands and scored the most runs for the country. Keshawna Knight recorded a century 144 against Jamaica and also a half century 55 against the Wimbledon Islands. In the T20 base, the Shakira Selman led Barbados Pride squad won four of the five matches played. The victories were achieved against Guyana, Jamaica, the Windward Islands, and the Leeward Islands. Our champion Barbados Pride women accumulated 16 points at the end of the T20 competition. We must also salute head coach Corey Cullimore, assistant coach Ryan Hines, manager Danielle Small, sports therapist Chanel Trotman for a job well done. The directors of the board of the Barbados Cricket Association are extremely proud of the achievements of both teams. From my own perspective, I encourage members of both teams to remain healthy and also strive to be consistent in your future cricketing endeavors. Also try to main maintain the high standards you have set and we wish you all the best for the future. Thank you again for making your family, friends, the BCA and the country at whole. Very proud of your exploits. Thank you. Thank you, President Riley. It's critical to know that the policy making of cricket in Barbados is led not just by County Riley and the Board of Directors, but there are a number of other committees that form this structure for cricket in Barbados. This young man that I'll be inviting to speak is currently the chairman of the Youth and Women's Committee at the Barbados Cricket Association. So he, along with a, a number of members, will sit down and, as I said, lay out with coaches and others the strategy to get the best results from the talent that we have. So at this point, I would want to invite a beaming and extremely proud director of the Barbados Cricket Association, Pedro Graves, to offer a few remarks. Director Graves. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies, Mr. Leslie. I want to welcome everyone and thank you all for coming. I am joyful that we are celebrating as champions today. And of course, we would have wanted to do this a lot earlier, but with CPL and other events taking place and mostly persons out of Barbados, this was the best time that we could find to do it. Um, so we are champions and I want to see the smells of champions on everyone's faces. Looking around for these smells. Alyssa ain't smelling. <laughs> Where is Sisha? Always smelling. So congrats, heartfelt from me as chairman. I believe that I have probably two most important committees at the BCA, women and youth, because obviously the youth are the future. Once we have the correct grassroots programs in place, then we can continue winning tournaments and once we invest in our females, we can also continue what the stars have done um, in the past and currently doing. But we must not settle here. The double, congrats. But we must not settle. You will notice that the Center of Excellence is on pause and will resume next week because the other 19 is going on right now. We felt that you, you guys have a duty to actually go back to the schools and practice during that other 19 tournament with the school boys and bring those guys along. You can't do it on your own. You're gonna need someone at the other end. I was watching India play and Kohli was on 92. They had eight runs to go and Kohli wanted 100. What did Jadeja do? 
block every ball so that Kohli could get the 100. And realistically, that's what we are, a team. And in order to achieve individual goals, you need each other. So you need to go back to the schools and encourage all those youngsters to come out and participate as well. To the females, we have about 25 documented um, young gems. And those are the future of our cricket. And we implore you all to pull those along. I am aware that there are others in the schools. Only last week, there was, was a young lady, Raya, from Combo Mayor playing the Torn Teams match. And she only started playing cricket two days before her first match. And that was phenomenal. She was so enthusiastic and she did really well. So I'm happy to see that there is talent out there. But we implore you all, you are the ones to drive this. You're the one to encourage participation within the schools and within the clubs. So with that, we want to invest more. You will see some changes coming because it's not about just winning this tournament. It's not about winning tournaments only. It's about getting you all into the West Indies teams. It's about making livelihoods out of cricket because cricket is an industry. So we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be having some skills at the center of excellence, focusing so you will not have the normal practice sessions. And what it will say is that we're also inviting the females a part of the center of excellence. So what's going to happen is that you're going to have a bowling clinic. All the fast bowlers will come on that particular day. You're going to have a spin bowling clinic. All the spin bowlers will come on that particular day. You're going to have a batting clinic. All the bats will come on that particular day. We've got all the bowling machine service. And as I said, the females are also going to be a part of that. And it's going to be reduced numbers to focus on quality and not necessarily quantity. With the savings that we will have going forward with some other plans that we have that I can't discuss yet because um, we still have to finalize them. We're currently going through a strategic plan as a board. But with the savings we're going to have, we're going to have a tremendous more support in terms of contracts, in terms of tours. Um, we've had a lot of touring teams with the females. We went to Trinidad this year. We want to take you, the boys, to Australia, South Africa, but we're going to need the money. So there's going to be some cutbacks in order to take you all on these tours. So the future looks bright, and I want to thank you all. I congratulate you all again. Well done. Thank you very much, Director Pedro Graves. Now, at this point, I want to acknowledge the presence of a number of members who have joined us, and I'll deviate from normal protocol quite a bit and first highlight the Brown staff, who without them, nothing can happen. All the plans in the world, and they're members of this team who are led by Winston Reed, Nigel Newton, and others who are here. So I first want to acknowledge the presence of those key members that make all of the cricket activities at Kensington and across the island a reality. We have here, you should clap for that. We have here, along with the president of the Barbados Cricket Association, other members of our board of directors, and we also have, in the first instance, life vice president, Mr. Erskine King, who's sitting here like the Lone Ranger he is at times. So we want to acknowledge Mr. Erskine King. <laughs> Our Vice President and Chairman of the Cricket Committee, Mr. Calvin Holt. <laughs> Chief Executive Officer of the Barbados Cricket Association, the man behind the wheel, Dr. Roland Topping. At this point, I would invite a very nice face that I like to see every day, Kathy Ann Grant, to join me here. This young lady joined the Barbados Cricket Association, I believe some 10 months ago as the executive assistant to the chief executive officer. And she will be assisting us at this point with the first round of presentations. And I want to indicate that we would invite the Chairman of the Youth and Women's Committee, Mr. Pedro Graves, to join me on my immediate right. I want each of the members, when their names are called, of the groups, if I don't get the pronunciation right, don't shout, 
I'll do my best. But definitely when you are coming to receive your individual awards, you are to basically come to my left and you walk in front of the microphone over to where Mr. Graves is in this case to collect the trophy. Now, we start with this group of important individuals known as the Barbados Pride Women's Team. Earlier, and I said, don't take this for granted to be three times double crown champions in the Caribbean, 2018, 2019, and 2023 is tremendous. So each of these ladies who come here this evening have contributed significantly to the fabric of Barbados' cricket. Don't get tired because of our rich tradition. Women are creating and making a movement that I don't believe that any other regional team will be able to match in the future. So before we go, I want to congratulate you ladies, and I will call your names based on the list I have in alphabetical order. We are, as you're aware, without two of the captains in both Haley Matthews and Shakira Salmon because of overseas commitments, but I want to acknowledge the exploits and leadership of those two ladies as we go through the remaining members of this champion squad. Aliyah Aline. And she follows instructions well. See how she walks and she comes to my left? I love that. Everyone else follow. Aliyah Aline. Shanika Bruce. Shanika Bruce. <laughs> Congratulations. Asabi Calendar. Asabi Calendar. Shamila Connell. Shamila Connell. Congratulations. Keela Elliott. Keela Elliott. Congratulations. Alison Gordon, Alison Gordon. <laughs> Tiana, you can get ready. <laughs> Alison Gordon, congratulations. Tiani Herbert Mears. Tiani Herbert Mears. Trishan Holder. Trishan Holder. She's um, absent, but congratulations to her for her contribution. I want to invite the vice captain of the T20 Blaze side, Kaisia Knight. Kaisia Knight. Congrats. And one of the centurions during the course of the tournament, Kaishona Knight. Kaishona Knight. Alyssa Scantlebury, Alyssa Scantlebury. Congratulations. And collecting on behalf of Miss Aaliyah Williams, we are gonna ask Mr. Arrowbarrow to collect on behalf of Aaliyah Williams. Congratulations to Aaliyah.
Mr. Arrowborough collecting on behalf of Ms. Aaliyah Williams. <laughs> and the final member of the squad, who I believe is also overseas, one of our young talented players, we want to also acknowledge Nijani Kamabach, who joined the team during the T20 segment of the competition. Nijani Kamabach. Thank you very much. Thank you as well, Kiafi Yang. I want to invite Ms. Shari Ross, marketing assistant at the Barbados Cricket Association, to join us. And also our vice president, Mr. Calvin Hope, as we As we celebrate the achievements of our Barbados under 17 male squad. Now, just for everyone to know, we are going to be doing all the management together for both groups, so don't panic. It's a deliberateness in this. So, firstly, the Barbados under 17 squad. Let me say this very quickly again Coach Dags. Wonderful achievement. Name Owen, wonderful achievement to be able to get these young men in a very short time in terms of preparation to go into what I consider adverse conditions in Trinidad, to be able to achieve this, I think is one of the most outstanding achievements done within Barbados' cricket in just over a decade and a half. So I wanna commend you and your team, led by these young men to be able to do what you did in the regional tournament. So at first, the main man, captain of the cricket side, Barbados on the 17, Zion Braffe. <laughs> Zondre Baptiste. Shaquan Bell. Gadsden Boins. I would like, I was just um, informed that Shaquan's mother is here. I would like her to come and collect this very important award. Following the instructions on behalf of her son, the mother of Shaquan Bell, who I know very well. Congratulations. Joshua Branch. Is Joshua's mom kindly joined us to collect this very important award on behalf of her son. Both Joshua's mom and dad are here. So congratulations, Joshua Branch. Edwin Currency Barnett. Triple Centurion for Great Nassini in the local competition and now a viable member of the Barbados Under-17 Double Crown Champions. Preston Clark. Wonderful all-round talent. Congratulations, Preston. Rivera Cottle. Rivera Cottle. Congratulations, young man. Chiron King. Chiron King. Akeem McCollin, Akeem McCollin. Jatario Prescott, Jatario Prescott. Jishan Motara, Jishan Motara. <laughs> 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 
Congratulations, young man. Dre Sprayer. Dre Sprayer. Jaden Webster. Mr. Jaden Webster. Not here? Thank you very much, Vice President. And thank you. I want you, Shari, to remain, please. At this time, I want to invite Mr. Wendell Coppin, Cricket Operations and Development Manager, to present to the management officials of both teams. Mr. Coppin. And firstly, we will start once Mr. Coppin settles with the champion management officials for the Barbados Pride women team. Again, two of the members Two of the members that I will mention are currently not here, as far as I'm aware. The head coach in Mr. Corey Collimore, who, again, we must give him high commendations for bringing together these women to do so well. The assistant coach, Mr. Ryan Hines, he's also away on overseas assignment. But I do know this individual is here in Miss Danielle Small, manager of the victorious double crown champions, Barbara Sprite women, Miss Danielle Small. <laughs> and I also want to acknowledge, I'm not sure if she's here, Chanel Trotman, who served, again, very importantly, as sports therapist for this Victoria site. You will remain, Mr. Coppin. This is the important management team for the Barbados under-17 boys team. We start with Mr. Dexter Toppin, head coach, and wonderful nurturer of young men, richly deserved, hardworking, and we want to thank Dexter Toppin for his outstanding work as head coach of the Beast, BC on the 17 boys team, men's team. Assistant coach, Mr. Nemo Lynn. <laughs> Highly successful within the school's tournament, with his school foundation and carrying on, I believe since 2017, as part of a very successful group. The assistant coach, Mr. Nemo Lynn. And this young man, it gives me pleasure to ask him to come and collect this. This young man, Mr. Dwayne Bess, manager of the successful BCA Barbados on the 17 team, an individual with tremendous ability and hopefully in the future, will continue to be part of successful Barbados teams. Mr. Dwayne Bess. I want to acknowledge Mr. Queen Dalrymple who acted as physiotherapist and thank you Mr. Wendell Coppin and Shari Ross for being part of this very important presentation to the individuals. Now we're coming to the end of this very short event. And you might notice that a couple of persons from Wilbur's and Cameras, there's the stipulated media, but this event is being captured and being preserved for posterity. So that year is going on we are going to be able to remember this day. So I want to thank those who are part of all the technical team, the DJ, the camera persons. But at this point, we are going to be inviting a very important individual to give a vote of thanks. On behalf of everyone, our Chief Executive Officer, Dr. Roland Topping. Good afternoon, all. Um, uh, my task this afternoon is um, to acknowledge some of the individuals who have contributed to making this event a success. Let me first thank our president, Mr. Conde Reilly, who, through his opening remarks, outlined the wonderful achievements of these two squads that we celebrate today. Truly, 
the dominant returns on the field of play by the Barbados Pride women and the Barbados Pride and the 17 male squads are as a result of the leadership of, the pre of President Riley and the entire board of directors of the BCA. Thank you, Conde, and the other directors. I move on now to the chairman of our, both the youth and the women's committees, Mr. Pedro Graves. You know, and I think it is a special occasion for him. As I said, he's chairman and he, he takes an active role in terms of, um, of being with these teams. And it is fitting that they, that they have won under his leadership. We say thank you for your contribution made by yourself and the members of your committees. Okay, to our Vice President, Mr. Calvin Hope, thank you again for agreeing to be part of this important activity. Your continued input and value, invaluable contributions to the development of the game in Barbados is commendable. Congrats to the magnificent Barbados Pride Women's Squad. <laughs> Who, with their achievements in St. Kitts, became the, I, I'm using um, Stephen's words here, the three times a lady double crown champions of cricket in the West Indies. Congrats to our two captains, Haley Matthews in the 50 over competition, and Shakira Selman in the T20. And to every member of the squad, whose efforts are inspiring the next generation of female cricketers in the island. Thanks also to the management teams. We have, um, they've all been, uh, they've just been mentioned. Thanks to our double crown and the 17 boys squad led by Captain Zion Braffitt and every proud member of his team that created history and brought glory to this country. Special thanks to the management team again. I want to thank our master of ceremonies for this afternoon, Mr. Stephen Leslie, who expertly managed the event along with his small group. So I just want to mention Sherry, you are Sherry, um, Jim, Kathy Ann, who you saw earlier, Jamar, um, he is the workhorse um, of the organization. Um, Rose, Cheryl, Aisha, and I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Uh, Lauren, because the, the last time I forgot one person, and she she never let me live it down. <laughs> so just want, just any just in case I forgot anybody, you know, I I, I didn't mean it. Um, so these these people they've ensured that these moments are captured for future celebration. Finally, I wish to thank the BCA's board of directors, all specially invest, invited guests, family and friends of the players, the chairpersons and members of, the, of both selection panels, the media, and the dedicated staff of the BCA for making this event a success. I, we're, going to have, we're going to have a meal shortly, which I think you will enjoy. It's been prepared by LNL Catering, so we want to thank them in advance. And also, we would like to thank you afterwards for participating, being part of the celebration and enjoy the entertainment which will be provided afterwards. I think it's karaoke, right? Um, is that true? Mm -hmm. right. So, um, uh, I, I would spare you the, the, the um, I, would, I would spare you listening to my voice trying to sing. So thank you once again. I want you to, to enjoy the rest of the, the afternoon. And, uh, and again, special congratulations to our, and our women, senior women's team and the, and the 17 team. I'm quite sure that, um, that coaches down here will try to ensure that, um, that next year when we're celebrating, the under-19s and the under-15s will also be a part of it. Thank you all.